Uh, my parents, I don't think, are watching tonight. But if you want to give them a wave, you can. doing the first three, he's starting the quarter two. Okay, great. Fourth. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Weird. Power on. Doesn't work. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't this one. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. We're going to begin Kabbalat Shabbat as we welcome in the Sabbath by welcoming in our angels of peace. There's a, a custom to invite these special angels into the world called the Shabbat angels, the Malachi HaSharet, on page number four in our prayer book as we join together in Shalom Aleichem, the transliteration in the middle of the page. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi HaSharet, Malachi HaElyon. Mi Melech, Malachi HaMlachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Malachem LaShalom, Malachi HaShalom, Malachi HaElyon. Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Ni Leshalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyon Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Sechem Leshalom Malachi Hashalom we continue formally with Kabbalah Shabbat, Psalm 95, page number 8, as we move forward with the words of Lechuna Ranana, page number 8, top of the page. Lechun eranena la donai nari aletzor yishenu nekad mafana betoda bismiro nari alo ki el gadol adonai umelech gadol al kol Elohim asher biyado mekreya. The cantor concludes the psalm in the middle of the page, Arbaim Shana. Arbaim Shana kut betor vahom aram toe levavhem vehem lo yadu derachai Hashem Hishpati Ve'api Im Yevahun El Menuchati We stand together for the Psalm for the Sabbath, pages 14 and 15, Mizmor Le David, as we join together, page 14 and 15, Mizmor Le David. Yain lai lai havu l'adonai Bnei elim havu l'adonai Kavod vahos Havu l'adonai Kevot shemo ishtachavu l'adonai Behadrat kodesh Kol l'adonai Al amayim el hakavod Hirim adonai Amaim Rabim, Kol Adonai, Bakoach Yai Lai Lai, Kol Adonai, Behadar, Kol Adonai, Shover Arazim, Vaishaber Adonai, 
هتان زه هوانان ما یار کیدم که ما اگل لبانان به سیریان که ما بن رحمیم کل آدنای خود سبلاه بوده کل آدنای یا خیل می بار یا لای لای یا خیل آدنای می بار کادش کل آدنای خاله لای لون و یه خسوف یه آرود و به خالو کل عمر کابور آدنای لام ابو یا شبای شب آدنای ملک لعلام آدنای اوس لاموییت هن آدنای یه بار ختم و باشالو we may be seated as we continue with Lachad Odi. We welcome the Sabbath bride as we customarily will stand at the end of the poem to welcome in the Shabbat Kala. We'll share in the first three verses together on pages 17 and 18, and then we'll move to page 22 for the last verse of Lachad Odi. Page 17, Lachad Odi. Lechado di likrat kala yala la yala la yala la pne shabat ne kabela shamor ve zakhor ve dipur echad ish mi anu el ham yuchad adonai echad ushemo echad l'shemu tiferet veli tehila hey lechado di likrat kala yala la yala la yala la pne shabat Thank <laughs> Sof ma ase ba machshavat chila lechadodi likrat kala yala la yala la yala la pnei shabbat lekabela lechadodi likrat kala yala la yala la yala la pnei shabbat lekabela mikdash melech yir melucha. Kumitzeim itoch ha'afecha Rav lach shevet ve'emek ha'bacha Ve'hu yachamol alai chemla Lecha dodi likrat kala yalala 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 Ebrei Shabbat Nekabela We stand together Lecha dodi likrat kala yalala 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 we face the back of the sanctuary, page 22. <laughs> We may be seated. Let's read together in the English in the middle of page 24, Psalm 93, the last psalm of Kabbalat Shabbat, of getting ready for Shabbat every Friday evening. Please join me. Adonai reigns clothed with majesty. Creation has clothed godliness with strength. Indeed, the world is firmly established. It will not be moved. Your godly throne is established from of old. You are everlasting. The floods have lifted up 
Compassionate one, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods continue to lift up their waves. More than the sounds of many waters, the mighty breakers of the sea, godliness is mighty. Your divine testimonies are fully confirmed. Holiness befits your house of godliness forevermore. At this time, those who wish to stand in memory of a loved one, now is the time to do that. The words of the Kaddish prayer, page 25 and 26. Yit gadal, vit gadash, shemei rabah, be'alma divra kirute v'amlich malchute. Be'chayechon, uv'yamechon, uv'chaye dechol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehe shemei rabah mevarach le'alam l'almei almaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit ba'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh. Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kutsha, Brehu, Laela, Minko, Birchata, Vishirata, Tushbechata, Venechamata, Ta Amiran, Be Alma, Vimru, Amen. Yahe, Shlama, Rabba, Min Shamaya, Vechaim, Alenu, Ve Alkol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. Ose, Shalom, Bimramav, Hu Ya Ase, Shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru. Amen. We can be seated for just a moment. Shabbat shalom, everybody. So how many of us do things because that's the way it goes? Right? Because how many of us do? So why does the napkin go underneath the fork? So you can find the fork, but what about the knife and the spoon? Why is it that the drink cup goes to the right of the plate because you're right-handed and to shun all of the people who are left-handed, right? You know how I thought, and who's to say that the bread plate goes on the left-hand side of the plate, right? Because B is for bread and D is for drink, right? That's because God created our hands like that. So the whole point that I'm trying to get to is that there are certain rituals in the world that we do just because that's the way it goes, and if somebody were to ask you, how, why do those rituals happen? You say, right, because that's what the person did before me, and that's what the person did before them. Perhaps that's what the person did before them until the ritual started. Oftentimes we think the same thing happens in Judaism. We do things in Judaism that make no sense whatsoever. There's a lot of things that we do in Judaism that make sense. Feeding those less fortunate, taking care of the orphan, the widow, the stranger, treating people with social justice as if we were enslaved, other people suffer, and so we have to fix those things. That all makes sense. But then there are some things that we do in Judaism that make no sense whatsoever. If I were a stranger walking in around September, October time into a synagogue at 9.30 in the morning on the first day of a holiday, and I saw people walking around shanking plants, I think that you're crazy, right? Or if I see people for eight days eating this bread that's flat, that has no taste whatsoever, I don't want to hear from someone who likes matzah, okay? But if I were to experience that and someone were to just say, this is the type of bread we eat, would make no sense. When you have all these other luxuries of donuts and sourdough bread and everything else that comes along with bread. Well, there's one ritual I want to talk about tonight, and that is the lighting of Sabbath candles. Now, most of the world that is connected to the arts probably knows the Sabbath candles from where? This is a really hard question. Where? Fiddler on the roof. I will give you your $20 later after Shabbat. Okay? And when, why, how, where does that happen? It silences the business discussion. He stops from his regular mundane work, and all of a sudden, they bring in these Sabbath candles, and may the Lord protect and defend you. Write the Sabbath prayer. Why do we light Shabbat candles? Why do we write the Sabbath candles? Because your parents did? Because your grandparents did? Because 10 generations ago they did? And you use the same candles and the same matches, right, that they did 10 generations ago. Well, there are reasons why. First of all, it's not in the Torah anywhere. To the opposite, the Torah says you're not allowed to light a fire on the Sabbath. By the way, you know in the Sabbath prayer song when they put their hands over the the eyes, and a lot of people do that. Well, the reason that people do that, if you really want to know the reason, is you're not allowed to light a fire on the Sabbath. It's an act of creation. 
And so if you were to say the blessing and then light the candles, you would be welcoming Shabbat with the blessing and then you're going to strike a match, which is a violation of Shabbat. So it's a legal fiction that's set up. So what you do is you light the candles, you cover your eyes, you say a blessing, and you open up, wow, how did that light get there? Unbelievable, right? And why two candles? Why two candles? Because the blessing, after all, says, Lahadli Kner Shal Shabbat, commands us to light the candle of the Sabbath. Actually, you only have to light one candle for the Sabbath. No more than one. And at the end of Shabbat, it says, Boreme Arei Ha'esh, who creates the lights of fire, you're only obligated to light two candles for Havdalah. Some people have six wicks on there. Some people have four wicks on there. Some people have three. Some people have two. Some people have five. I've seen a Havdalah kid with 15 wicks, right? But minimum is two. But I want to go back to the Shabbat candles because most people light in sets of two. And that has to do with the Torah portion this week. Because in the four, we're going to read the Ten Commandments. Actually, I'm not going to read the Ten Commandments. The Sasinskis are going to read the Ten Commandments, right? Please say yes. That's correct. Okay, good. So Gary's going to have the gift of reading most of them. Okay, no, there are ten, right? You're not reading just six, okay, or 15. Well, in the history of the world, part one, it was 15. Okay. <laughs> I need to finish my talk, okay? <laughs> so there are two, two candles on the Sabbath. And they refer to the Ten Commandments. The first of Shabbat Commandments, number four, in the book of Exodus, says, remember Shabbat. Right? Have the idea in your head that the Sabbath comes on Friday evenings. And then when we fast forward to Deuteronomy, the fifth book of the Torah, before the Jewish people enter the land of Israel, it says, keep the Shabbat. Keep the Sabbath. Right? Long ago, when you first left Egypt, I told you, God says, to have it in your head. Moses says, try to understand what the Sabbath is. I'm not asking you to do it yet, but I'm asking you to just have a concept of what it is. So every week, we're going to try to figure that out. Ah, but when the Jewish people are about to go into the land of Israel, Moses repeats and says, don't just remember the Sabbath. Act upon it. Make sure that you do it. It's one thing to say something, but it's another thing to actually do it. Right? When the Jewish people get the Torah, there's a midrash that says the Jewish people say that we will do it and then we'll talk about it later. Not with the Shabbat. The Sabbath is about comprehending it and then making it happen. It's very interesting, this scene around every synagogue around the world, Fridays at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They're deserted. Go find every synagogue. You know, their big business offices are closed. Everything, it's like, it's perfect. There's this concept of processing the Sabbath, and all of a sudden, at least in most communities, things start to happen. People start to show up and make the Shabbat happen. So I want to finish with this thought, not necessarily about the Sabbath, about why two candles, although that's why we have two. The Midrash says that one of the candles is for remembering the Sabbath, and one of the candles is for keeping the Sabbath. Right? It's not just about the B and the D for the bread plate and the drink cup, although that's a great way of remembering which goes which and where you're supposed to drink from and eat from, and you shall not cross to the other person's place setting. Right? And hopefully your napkin will be found under the fork. Right? This is no Ephraim and Menashe of crossing your hands. Okay? But I want us to do something else with that this week. I want us to remember to do something consciously think about doing it and then go follow through and do it. How often do we think about doing things and then we don't follow through? Now, some of us might be very good at that, but some of us might need some help with that. So just one thing. Think about one thing that you did this week where you thought about doing it and you didn't do it. How many of us can think of one thing that we thought about doing and did not do it this week? Okay. So, this coming week, let's try to zahor Remember, just like it says, remember the Sabbath with candle number one. And candle number two, let's focus on following through. Making the Shabbat happen. Making that thing happen that we thought about. So in Hebrew, we call that Zachor and Shamor. And in Lechadodi that we just read tonight, we say that. Shamor v'zachor b'dibor achad. God said those two things in one word. We can't do that all at once. We have to process. First we have to think, and then we have to act. Shabbat Shalom. You're reading tomorrow, right? Good. Okay. Dylan's going to come on up here and join us for the Baruch Hu. We'll stand together for the blessing of creation. Page 28 in our prayer book, we stand together for the words of the Baruch Hu. La 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 la
Lie, 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 lie. Lie, 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 Barhu et Adonai Hamevora Baru Adonai Hamevora Hamevora Leolam Vaed Hamevora Hamevora we may be seated the blessing of creation, page 28 at the bottom. Uma vil yom, ume vil laila, uma vdil ben yom uve laila, Adonai tzvahot shemo, el chai vekayam, tamidim lo chaleinu leolam vaher, baharu chata Adonai, Amen. Blessing before the Shema, page 30, Ahava Tolam. Ahava Tolam, Beit Yisrael, Amcha Havta, Torah Umitzvot, Chukim Umishpati, Motanu Limadata, Alken Adonai Eloheinu, Vishok Beinu, Uvekumeinu, Nasiach vechu kecha, v'nismach v'divrei tonatecha, uve mitzvotecha, le'olam v'ahed. Ki hem chayenu ve'orech yameinu, u'vahem nege yomam v'alayla. Le'ahavatecha, al tasir mimenu le'olamim, baruch ata Adonai. Maruchu baruch shema. Ohev amo Yisrael. Amen. Page 31, Shema ve'ahavta. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'yavta et Adonai Elohecha, v'kol levavecha, uv'kol nafshecha, uv'kol mehudecha, v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele, asher anochi, Mitzavecha, Hayom Olivavecha, Vishinantan, Levanecha, Vidi Bartabam, Vishiv Teha, Vave Teha, Uvlev Teha, Vadere, Uvshok Beha, Uvkumeha, Ukshartam, Laot, Olyadeha, Vahayula Totafo, Bene Neha, Uktav Tom, all Mizuzo Betecha Uvi Sharecha. We finish the Shema to ourselves through page We continue with our blessing of thanksgiving, the words of Mi Chamocha, page 37 in our prayer book at the top of the page, page 37. Yep, bye, bye, bim, bim, bye. 
When we think and following that, when we do, we certainly create a world for us that is more stable, a world that is more vision to it, a world that has more emotion, a world that is more peaceful. So as the cantor sings the blessing of Hashkivenu, let's think about once again, what is that Zachor? What is it that we are going to remember to do this week? And what is that Shamor? What is it that we're going to follow through with and do following that which we speak? This is what Hashkivenu is about because if we do and we think about what we are doing, then ultimately we live in a world that is more peaceful for ourselves and hopefully for others too. Hashkivenu, page 38. Hashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'hamidenu malkeinu l'chaim. Hashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'hamidenu malkeinu l'chaim. Ushmor tzeteinu, Hashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'hamidenu malkeinu l'chaim. Hashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'hamidenu malkeinu l'chaim. Ufros aleinu sukach lomecha baruch Adonai, Haporesu kachalam aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Amen. We stand together on page 40, that reminder of making Shabbat an important part of our lives each week as Dylan leads us in the words of Vishamru, page 40 at the top of the page. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat La so let hashabat le dorotambari olam vishamru vene israel et hashabat la so et hashabat le dorotambari olam veni uven bene israel o he le olam o he le olam o he Le'olam v'shamru v'ne Yisrael et hashabat la'aso et hashabat l'dorotamari olam. Ki sheshe yamim asa Adonai 
Asa Adonai et Hashamayim ve Haaret Vishamru Vene Israel et Hashaba La Asa et Hashaba Le Dor Tambari Olam Uvayom Hashviim Shava Vainafash Shava Vainafash Shava Vaina Fash Vishamru Vane Israel Et Hashaba La Aso Et Hashaba Le Dor Tambari Olam The cantor continues with Chatzik Kaddish, the bridge between Vishamru and the silent prayer known as the Amidah, page 41, Chatzik Kaddish. Hit kadave hit kadash shemeira ba behama divra kiru tevi amlich machute becha yechonu biom echonu v'chaye decho beit Israel ba agala ba agala uviz mahan kadim vimeru amen yehish meira ba mevara. Vimeru <laughs> Amen. Our private prayer, which I mentioned before, known as the Amidah, begins on page 43. The blessings conclude on page 56. Also a perfect time to think about what are we going to remember this week? What's our hope of what we're going to remember this week? And what is it that we're going to follow through with that memory, that which we will take and put into action? Some time for ourselves, and when we're finished, we can be seated, and then we'll finish our service together. It kadavit kadash shemeira ba veoma divra kirutevi amlich machute bechayeh cholav yemei cholav chayeh dechol beit Israel 
Amen. As we offer our prayer for healing, we are mindful of those who are ill tonight, that we are praying for their recovery, both of spirit and of body. So take some time just to think about somebody that you're holding on to that you're sending your positive spiritual energy to them in hopes of their recovery from illness or their strength as they're going through illness in hopes of healing and of blessing. Page 62, our blessing of healing. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing with Rifua Shalema. Body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. We stand together as Dylan leads us the Alenu prayer before the Kaddish and Kiddush, page 63. Alenu le Shabbat. Alenu le Shabbat la Adon Hako la Te Gidula. Leotzer, Breishi, Shelo, Asanu, Kegoge, Ha Arazo, Velo, Samanu, Kamish Peho, Ha Adama, Shelo, Sam, Helkenu, Kahed, Vigo, Ralenu, Keho, Hamonam, Vaanach, Nu Korim, Umish Tahavim, Umodim, Leaf Nemelech, Moche Hamlahim, HaKadosh Adonai Lamele al Koha Aretz Bayom Ha Hill Bayom Ha U Yea Adonai Echad Ushamo 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 Echad. We may be seated in our community the Shabbat. We are mindful of the art sites this week anniversaries of death from the 20th to the 26th of Shvat on the Hebrew calendar. They include Stella Tarnow, Mac Barkin, Blanche Altman, Hilda Breschen, Gertrude Mitz, Elizabeth Collin, Herman Teich, Jack Solway, Minnie Walasco, Jeanette Rubenstein, Rachel Lefstein, Beatrice Marcus, Elsie Drattler, Etta Shore, Joey Eidelman, Henry Gross, Toby Phillips, and Elaine Rosenberg. All of their memories should be a blessing on this Shabbat.
At this time, those who wish to stand for a loved one, for the mourner's Kaddish, now would be the time to do that. Page 66 and 67. Yit gadal vi gadash shemei raba be alma divra kirute vi amlich malchute be chaye chon uv yom echon uv chaye dechol be Israel ba agala uv izman kariv vimru amen yehi shemei raba mevarach lealam lalme amaya yit barach vi ishtabach vi baar vi tromam vi nase. Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kutsha, Brecho. Laela, Min Kol Birchata, Vishirata, Tushbechata, Venechamata, Ta Amiran, Be Alma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Raba, Min Shemaya, Vechaim, Alenu, Vealko Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. Ose, Shalom, Bimramav, Hu, Yaase, Shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. We may be seated. Danny Agins, who's a member of our board, has a few brief announcements for us and uh, some gifts for Dylan. So Dylan, come on up. On behalf of the synagogue, Danny's going to give you some gifts. Uh, yeah, you can bring it for Kiddush. I'll take it from you. Okay. So, Danny. Thank you. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Cantor. And thank you, Susan, for helping me greet everybody tonight. And mazel tov to you and your family. You did really good tonight. I was very impressed. I was. Right? You saw me. Look, I was like right there in the front row. Second row. Okay. Come here. You have, I'm not going to take everything out, but I'm going to tell you what's in there. And I'm going to check my little cheat sheet because I can't remember it all. Okay? Okay. Inside the bag, we have a wine cup from our men's club, and a certificate which indicates that a donation was made in your name to the Jewish National Fund in honor of your bar mitzvah. On behalf of the Women's League, there is a tzedakah box, so you could always put a little money in there. Um, the youth department has given you a $10 gift certificate to use at any USY event, and money has been Seed money has been put in your name for B'nai Tzedek Youth Philanthropy. And lastly, the Jewish Federation has put a book in there called Israel Matters. So you can peruse that book when you get a chance. Okay? Mazel tov. Thanks. You did a great job. Okay, and then I have, you can, does he say or, go, you want to? Okay, and I just have a couple announcements. Actually, it's more, and I didn't bring my reading glasses, so. There we go. No, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Hold on. Oh, wow. I did thank the clergy already. Thank you. you okay. Um, Valley Bait Midrash has canceled this coming Monday's lecture on February 17th. Applications for Jewish summer camp and Israel experience scholarships from Congregation Orzion are now being accepted. Thanks to generous congregants, donors, and our own Roz Goodell Fund, and various fundraising efforts here at Ortzion, we have made it a tradition to help many Jewish overnight camp, no, to help make Jewish overnight camp more affordable to our families. Um, the deadline for submission is Friday, February 28th. Join us this Sunday, February 16th at 8 a.m. as we celebrate Tu B'Shvat with a preserve cleanup and hike. We will learn about the preserve and the importance of keeping a trash-free environment. Please RSVP for all of the events. And there will also be a, a gateway trail hike. Our Mishloach Manot fundraiser is in full swing. This year's theme is Ortizion, Ortizion, and it features a mug with our Mishloach Manot logo and a bag full with lots of goodies. And we need volunteers, so if anyone wants to assemble or deliver, please let me know. And the Jewish National Fund's annual breakfast for Israel will be held on February 27th at 7.30 a.m. This year, it is at the JW Marriott. On February 29th at 11 a.m., we're having a Saturday morning Tat Shabbat for our youngest members. And synagogue will be closed this coming Monday. Check the handout and the Shabbat flyers for more information, and Shabbat Shalom.
I have to do one more plug because we are very excited for our uh, community forum celebration on um, Monday evening, March 9th. I believe it begins at 5.30 p.m. It's Whose Purim is it anyway? And we'll actually be featuring a couple of improv artists. We will have um, improv games as well as yummy food trucks. If there's anybody who um, has actually done any improv in the past, um, we would love to sort of be able to call on you for audience participation. So let me know, let Stephanie know. One more thing, Stephanie Monier um, is doing a TikTok Jewish anthem. If you don't know what TikTok is, this might not be for you. So TikTok is an app, but it, um, for our younger members who know what TikTok is, we are looking for you to submit your Jewish anthem. I know Alexa's already done hers. Um, mm -hmm. I already did mine, the Cantor anthem. I believe we're waiting on the rabbi. He'll be doing his soon. So please submit those to Stephanie. If you have any questions, you can ask her. And we're good. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Services tomorrow at 930. We'll be featuring Dylan on guitar. Just kidding. Dylan on the Bima. And uh, the entire family. All right. Take it easy. We'll stand for Kiddush. Cantor's going to lead us. in the blessing, I'm going to give Dylan the Kiddush cup to hold with his family. Page 67. Kiddush for Shabbat. <clears throat> Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei puri hakafen Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzavanu V'shabbat kotsho b'yahava uvratzon hinchilanu Zikaron l'maase v'reishit Ki hu yom techila l'mikra e kodesh Zecher litziat mitzrayim Kivanu v'acharta Ve'otanu kidashta Mikohamim V'shabat kodshecha V'ahava uvratzon Hinchaltanu Baruch atadonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. Dylan, take a sip. Amen. It's, it's grape juice, yeah. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Bim bam bim 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 bam. Bam, 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 bidi, 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 bam, 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 Mazel tov. Dylan, you were awesome. You were awesome. You're going to be fantastic tomorrow. Okay, is that acceptable?